big show. Paul Randall White, Jr., better known by his ring name, Big Show, is an American professional wrestler who was signed to WWE. White is a seven-time world champion, having won the WCW World Heavyweight Championship twice, the WWFE Championship twice, the ECW World Championship once, and the World Heavyweight Championship twice. He is the only wrestler to have held all four titles. White has also won the WWE Intercontinental Championship once, the WWE United States Championship once and the WWE Hardcore Championship three times. White is an 11-time World Tag Team Champion, having won the WWE's World Tag Team Championship five times, twice with The Undertaker, and once each with Kane, Chris Jericho, and The Miz, the WWE Tag Team Championship three times, once each with Jericho, Miz, and Kane, and the WCW World Tag Team Championship three times, once each with Lex Luger, Sting, and Scott Hall. Big Show is the 24th Triple Crown and 12th Grand Slam winner in WWE history. Between WWE and WCW, White has held 23 total championships. He was also the winner of WCW's annual World War 360 Man Battle Royal in 1996, and has headlined many pay-per-views for WCW and the WWFE since the mid-1990s, including the 2000 edition of WWE's premier annual event, WrestleMania. Outside of professional wrestling, White has appeared in feature films and television series such as The Waterboy, Star Trek, Enterprise and USA Network's comedy drama Royal Pains and the action drama Burn Notice. In 2010, he had his first major role in the comedy film Knucklehead, which was produced by WWE Studios. White has said he would like to continue his acting career and expand beyond roles based on his size. Professional Wrestling Career Getting Started After School White worked various jobs including bouncing, bounty hunting and answering phones. Through doing the latter for a karaoke company, he met Danny Bonaduce in a live mic amateur contest on his morning radio show. Bonaduce introduced White to his friend Hulk Hogan. They had an informal basketball game, as part of a WCW promotion for an upcoming show at the Rosemont Horizon. Hogan liked how White worked the crowd and recommended him to WCW Vice President Eric Biscoff. White went to the Horizon show, and was invited into the locker room, where he met Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, his boyhood hero, and a naked Paul Orndorff. He later met Biscoff there and came to a deal. White had earlier attempted to inquire about joining the WWF, also at the Horizon, during an autograph session. Promoter and scout Bob Collins turned him away after he admitted he had no experience. He paid Larry Sharp's Monster Factory $5,000, but due to Sharp's scout at the time, he was only very minimally trained. Johnny Polo taught him the collar and elbow lockup. While there, he made an audition tape and gave it to Mike Kyoda, whom he had met in a Philadelphia bar. Kyoda forwarded it to Pat Patterson, who didn't bother watching it because he assumed White was another wrestler. Kerrigan. It was only when he saw the giant debut in WCW that Patterson realized his mistake, to Vince McMahon's displeasure. World Championship Wrestling 1995-99 In 1995 White signed with World Championship Wrestling, where he was billed as the giant. White made his professional debut at the 1995 Halloween Havoc defeating Hulk Hogan for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship via disqualification, thanks in part of Jimmy Hart interfering during the match, with the pre-match stipulation that the title can change hands. A week later however, the Giant was stripped of the title due to the controversial finish of the match. The Giant attempted to reclaim the title at World War III but was foiled by Hulk Hogan, who helped Randy Savage win the vacant title. The Giant teamed with Ric Flair to defeat Hogan and Savage at Clash of the Champions XXXII, but was decisively beaten by Hogan in a cage match at Super Brawl 6. After a short feud with Loch Ness, 
the Giant won the World Heavyweight Championship a second time by defeating Ric Flair. After Hogan formed the New World Order, NO, he defeated the Giant for the championship at Hog Wild following interference from Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. The Giant joined the NO 23 days later, citing Ted DiBiase's money as his primary motivation, feuding with Lex Luger and the Four Horsemen. The Giant was thrown out of the NO on December 30 for asking Hogan for a World Heavyweight Championship title match. He fought against the NO along with Sting and Lex Luger, winning the WCW World Tag Team Championship twice. In 1997, the Giant began a feud with NO member Kevin Nash, who constantly dodged Giant, failing to appear for their scheduled match at Starcade. In 1998 it sold out the two finally met in the ring, with Nash accidentally injuring White's neck when he botched a jackknife powerbomb. When Nash left the NO and formed his own stable, the NO Wolfpack, the Giant rejoined the original NO to oppose Nash and his allies. While back with the NO, the Giant won two more tag team championships, once with Sting as an unwilling partner, as the match was signed before the Giant returned to the NO, and once with Scott Hall. In the interim between those two reigns, he lost his half of the tag team championship to Sting in a singles match where only the winner would remain champion and choose a new partner. On the October 11, 1998, episode of WCW Monday Nitro, Goldberg defeated the Giant in a no disqualification match. In a show of strength, Goldberg executed a delayed vertical suplex before hitting the jackhammer on the Giant. After the NO Hollywood and the NO Wolf Pack merged again in January 1999, Hogan declared that there was only room for one giant in the group, and forced Giant and Nash to wrestle for that spot. Nash defeated him following a run-in by Scott Hall and Eric Biscoff. The giant was then attacked by the entire NO. White allowed his WCW contract to expire on February 8, 1999 his 27th birthday. World Wrestling Federation Slash Entertainment The Corporation and WWF Champion 1999 to 2000 White signed a 10-year contract with the World Wrestling Federation on February 9, 1999, debuting as a villainous member of Vince McMahon's stable, The Corporation, at St. Valentine's Day Massacre, in your house. During the McMahon vs. Steve Austin Cage match, White tore through the canvas from underneath the ring and attacked Austin. However, White cost McMahon the match when he threw Austin into the side of the cage and the cage broke, spilling Austin outside to the floor and granting him the victory. White subsequently served as McMahon's enforcer. White performed as Big Nasty Paul White for several weeks before being renamed the Big Show Paul White. He then gradually dropped his real name, eventually being referred to simply as the Big Show. McMahon wanted to ensure Corporation member The Rock would retain his title at WrestleMania, so he had White wrestle Mankind at WrestleMania 15 for the right to referee the main event. White incapacitated Mankind, but got disqualified in the process, meaning that he could not be referee. Mankind won the right to be the official but was taken to a hospital following the match with White, although he eventually returned during the championship match. After a furious McMahon slapped White, he punched McMahon. White concluded his feud with Foley in a boiler room brawl before turning face and joining Mankind, Test, and Ken Shamrock in a stable known as the Union who fought against the corporation, and later against the corporate ministry. On the May 10 episode of Monday Night Raw, show was pitted against The Undertaker's manager Paul Bearer. On the June 7 episode of Raw, Big Show faced The Undertaker for the WWF Championship. Undertaker attempted a clothesline from the top turnbuckle, however White caught him and delivered a choker slam, which sent Undertaker crashing through the ring mat. The referee was forced to stop the match so The Undertaker retained his title. Following the match Bradshaw, Farouk, and Midian all ran down to attack Big Show and were all subsequently chokeslammed as well. Big Show and The Undertaker later formed an unlikely alliance, wrestling against X-Pac and Kane. As a team, Show and The Undertaker won the WWF Tag Team Championship twice. After The Undertaker was sidelined with injuries, Big Show began a feud with the Big Boss Man. 
after it was announced that Big Show's father was terminally ill with cancer, the boss man had one of his crooked police colleagues inform Show that his father has died, and then mocked Show's tearful reaction. Several weeks later, when it was announced Big Show's father had actually died, in reality, White's father had died years before, the boss man interrupted the ten bell toll by reciting an offensive poem. Later, boss man invaded the funeral and used a chain to couple the coffin to the Blues Brothers bluesmobile, towing the coffin away with a grief-stricken Big Show clinging onto it. Big Show then took on Big Boss Man, Prince Albert, Midian and Viscera at Survivor Series in a four-on-one elimination match. He eventually won the match after Big Boss Man left the match and was counted out. Later that night, White took the injured Steve Austin's place in the triple threat match for the WWF Championship. In that match, which also featured The Rock, he pinned Triple H to become WWF Champion. At Armageddon 1999, Show defeated Boss Man to retain his WWF Championship, despite interference by Prince Albert. On the January 3, 2000 episode of Raw, Triple H defeated Show for the WWF Championship. Trying to regain the title, White participated in the Royal Rumble match where he antagonized The Rock, thus turning heel in the process. The Rock eliminated him to win the Royal Rumble. White was convinced that he had won, and eventually produced a videotape that showed The Rock's feet striking the ground first. He was then given a match with The Rock at No Way Out, with the WrestleMania title shot on the line. White defeated The Rock when Shane McMahon interfered knocking The Rock out with a chair shot. Rock was desperate to reclaim his title shot, and eventually agreed to a match with White on the March 13 episode of Raw. If he won, the WrestleMania title match would become a triple threat match, and if he lost, he would retire from the WWF. Shane McMahon, now actively supporting White's bid to become champion, appointed himself as the special guest referee. However, the Rock triumphed when Vince McMahon assaulted Shane and donned the referee shirt, personally making the three count following a rock bottom. On the March 20 episode of Raw, Triple H defended the title against The Rock and White on the condition that the match would not take place at WrestleMania, pinning White. Linda McMahon stated this match would not occur at WrestleMania as Triple H would defend the title there in a fatal four-way elimination match, with Mick Foley as the fourth man. White was the first man eliminated from the match at WrestleMania 2000 after the other three competitors worked together against him. WWE Champion and United States Champion 2000-2004 After WrestleMania, Big Show took on a comical gimmick where he began mimicking other wrestlers, lampooning Rikishi as Haukishi, the Berserker as shown in The Barbarian, and Bal Venice as the Big Show Bowski. He defeated Kurt Angle at Backlash dressed like his friend and role model Hulk Hogan as the showster, complete with skull cap wig and yellow tights. Show began feuding with Shane McMahon after Shane voiced his disapproval of Big Show's antics. At Judgment Day 2000, Shane defeated White in a Falls Count Anywhere match following interference from Big Boss Man, Bull Buchanan, Test, and Albert. White returned two months later apparently intending to gain revenge on Shane. Instead, he attacked The Undertaker thus turning heel and siding with Shane once more, forming a short-lived stable known as The Conspiracy with Shane, Chris Benoit, Kurt Angle, and Edge and Christian. After The Undertaker threw Show off a stage through a table, he was removed from WWF television for the remainder of the year. Big Show was sent to Ohio Valley Wrestling, a WWF developmental territory, to lose weight and improve his cardiovascular fitness. Show returned at the 2001 Royal Rumble, but was eliminated by The Rock. Angered by his quick elimination, White proceeded to choke her slam The Rock through the announcer's table before leaving the arena. He then began competing for the WWF Hardcore Championship, which he lost to Kane in a triple threat match that also included Raven at WrestleMania X7. Throughout the invasion, Big Show remained loyal to the WWF. He faced Shane McMahon, the on-screen owner of WCW, in a last man standing match at Backlash and was defeated following interference from Test. Following an unscripted backstage interview, 
Big Show burst into tears and fled from the arena. Show was also part of the victorious Team WWF at Survivor Series, though he was the first man eliminated. Shortly after WrestleMania X8, Big Show turned heel when he choked his land stone cold during a tag team match against X-Pac and Scott Hall, joining the NO in the process. At Judgment Day, Big Show and Ric Flair were defeated by Austin in a handicap match. The stable disbanded after Kevin Nash was injured. After the NO disbanded, Show achieved little success on Raw after losing matches against Jeff Hardy, Booker T, and the Dudley Boys. In late 2002, Big Show was traded to SmackDown, immediately challenging Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. During this time, Big Show adopted a new attire, donning black jeans and taking on a new hairstyle and facial hair. Big Show became a two-time WWE Champion defeating Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, ending Lesnar's undefeated streak with help from Paul Heyman. He lost the title to Kurt Angle a month later at Armageddon. At the Royal Rumble, Big Show lost a Royal Rumble qualifying match to Lesnar. He then began feuding with The Undertaker, after Big Show threw him off the stage, injuring his neck, leading to Big Show and his partner A Train losing to The Undertaker at WrestleMania 19. He renewed his feud with Lesnar, wrestling him four times for the WWE title, including a stretcher match at Judgment Day, but was unsuccessful in his attempt to regain the title. On SmackDown Lesnar superplexed Big Show off the ropes in the ring imploded, two ring posts moved and three rows of ropes came down. The referee called for EMTs, medics, trainers, and even more referees. This kept the title in Lesnar's hands and both went to the hospital. On the June 26, 2003 episode of SmackDown, Big Show, Shelton Benjamin, and Charlie Haas defeated Mr. America, a disguised Hulk Hogan, Brock Lesnar, and Kurt Angle in a six-man tag team match when show pinned Mr. America. This was Hulk Hogan's last appearance as Mr. America. For several months afterwards, WWE hyped up Big Show as the man who retired Hogan. At No Mercy, Big Show defeated Eddie Guerrero for the WWE United States Championship and then formed an alliance with the then WWE champion Brock Lesnar. Big Show abandoned a departing Lesnar immediately before WrestleMania 20. At the pay-per-view, Big Show lost the United States Championship to John Cena. On the April 15, 2004 episode of SmackDown, Big Show promised to quit if he failed to defeat Eddie Guerrero that night. He lost to Guerrero. Guerrero had snuck and put a wrench in the back of Big Show's boot, which got Big Show disqualified, and, believing that Tori Wilson had laughed at him for losing, upended her car and threatened to throw her off a ledge. Then general manager of SmackDown, Kurt Angle ascended the ledge to try to talk some reason into Big Show, but he choked his lamb Angle off the ledge, kayfabe concussing him and breaking his leg, as well as causing the back of Angle's head to bleed. After the show, Big Show was neither seen nor heard from on WWE television for months. Brand switches in teaming with Kane 2004 to 2006. In mid 2004, Big Show was reinstated by new general manager Theodore Long, as he interfered during a lumberjack match between Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle. Big Show had a choice to face either Guerrero or Angle at no mercy, choosing to fight Angle, turning him face. Big Show defeated Angle at the event. In the weeks before the match, he claimed to have lost his dignity, when Angle tranquilized him in the middle of the ring using a dart gun and shaved his head. At No Way Out he fought Bradshaw for the WWE Championship in the first ever barbed wire cage match. He chokeslammed Bradshaw through the ring and busted the lock on the door. But Bradshaw had crawled from under the canvas and won. Show beat down Bradshaw and the cabinet interfered and beat Show down, Dave Batista interfered and beat down the cabinet, and John Cena beat on Bradshaw as he crawled away. On April 3, 2005 at WrestleMania 21. Big Show faced Sumo Grand Champion Aka Bono in a worked sumo match. The match was added to the show to attract a strong pay-per-view audience in Japan, where Aka Bono is considered a sporting legend. In the weeks preceding the match,
Big Show pushed over a jeep driven to the ring by Luther Reigns to show that he was capable of moving the marginally heavier Akabono. Big Show lost to Akabono at WrestleMania 21. Big Show subsequently feuded with Carlito Caribbean Cool and his bodyguard, Matt Morgan. On June 27, Big Show was drafted back to Raw in the 2005 WWE Draft Lottery preventing him from participating in a scheduled six-man elimination match for the SmackDown Championship. He successfully pinned Gene Snitsky in a tag team match, which turned into a singles match when both men's partners brawled backstage. After squashing his scheduled opponents for several weeks, White returned to his rivalry with Snitsky. On August 22, he foiled Snitsky's harassment of backstage interviewer Maria. On August 29, Snitsky hit Big Show with a ring bell immediately after Big Show had won the match. As a result, Big Show and Snitsky were placed in a match at Unforgiven, in which Big Show defeated Snitsky. On September 26, Big Show defeated Snitsky again in a street fight. On October 17, Big Show defeated Edge and was thus entered in an online opinion poll with the winner of the poll facing John Cena and Kurt Angle in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship at Taboo Tuesday 2005. The poll was won by Shawn Michaels, meaning that the other two options would wrestle for the World Tag Team Championships. Big Show teamed with Kane to defeat Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch for the Tag Team Championships. In the weeks preceding Survivor Series 2005, Big Show became involved in the rivalry between the Raw and SmackDown brands. Big Show and Kane invaded the November 11th episode of SmackDown. And, along with Edge, attacked Batista, inadvertently injuring him in the process. On the November 14th episode of Raw, Big Show and Kane defeated SmackDown. Wrestlers and reigning WWE Tag Team Champions MNM in an interbrand, non-title match. On November 21, Big Show and Kane injured Batista by delivering a double choker slam onto the windshield of a car. At Survivor Series, Show, Kane, Carlito, Chris Masters, and team captain Shawn Michaels represented Raw in a match with Team SmackDown. JBL, Rey Mysterio, Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, and Batista. Team SmackDown won the match, with Orton being the sole survivor. On the November 29th episode of SmackDown, Big Show wrestled Rey Mysterio in an interbrand promotional match, however, Kane interfered, resulting in the match being declared a no contest. Following the match, Big Show and Kane attacked Mysterio until The Undertaker chased them from the ring. Big Show and Kane returned to SmackDown. On December 2nd, defeating Mysterio and JBL after JBL abandoned the match claiming the referee had poked him in the eye. Following the match, Big Show and Kane's attempt to assault Mysterio was once again foiled, this time when Batista ran in to see them off. As a result, on the December 16 episode of SmackDown, Big Show and Kane were booked to face Batista and Mysterio, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, at Armageddon 2005. They won the match, which pitted the Tag Team Champions from each brand against one another. On the December 12 episode of Raw, Big Show took part in a qualifying match for a shot at the WWE Championship in an Elimination Chamber match at New Year's Revolution 2006. Big Show lost to his opponent, Shawn Michaels, by disqualification after Triple H hit Michaels with a steel chair, intentionally costing Big Show the match in the title shot. In retaliation, White cost Triple H his qualifying match with Kane later that evening. On the December 26 episode of Raw, during the contract signing for the announced match between Big Show and Triple H at New Year's Revolution, Triple H struck Big Show in the hand that Big Show apparently favors when using the choker slam with his sledgehammer. The following week, Big Show attacked Triple H while wearing a cast on his hand, using the padding provided by the cast to punch a hole in a chair held by Triple H, destroying a monitor from the announcer's table that Triple H intended to throw at him and chasing Triple H away from the ring. At New Year's Revolution, Triple H defeated White after striking him in the head with his sledgehammer. Subsequently, 
Big Show was one of eight participants in the 2006 Road to WrestleMania tournament, the winner of which would receive a shot at the WWE Championship. On the February 13 episode of Raw, Big Show faced Triple H in the tournament semi-finals in a match that ended in a double countout. As a result, Big Show and Triple H faced Rob Van Dam, the winner of the opposing semi-finals, in a triple threat match to determine the winner of the tournament on the February 20 episode of Raw. The match was won by Triple H after he pinned a VD. In the weeks following the tournament, Big Show and Kane feuded with Chris Masters and Carlito, leading to a World Tag Team Championships title match being scheduled for WrestleMania 22. White and Kane defeated Carlito and Masters, marking Big Show's first victory at WrestleMania after suffering six defeats. On the following evening, Big Show and Kane lost the World Tag Team Championships to Spirit Squad members Kenny and Mikey following copious interference from the other members of the Spirit Squad. They faced Spirit Squad members Johnny and Nikki in a rematch one week later, but lost by a disqualification after Kane snapped, and left the ring to attack the other members of the Spirit Squad. The ensuing feud between Kane and Big Show culminated in a match at Backlash 2006 that ended in a ruling of no contest. ECW Champion and Departure 2006-2007 at WWE vs. ECW head-to-head -head on June 7, Big Show was drafted to the newly debuted ECW brand. He removed his Raw shirt to reveal an ECW shirt during a 20-man battle royal including members of the Raw and SmackDown rosters against members of the ECW roster. Big Show won the match for ECW by eliminating Randy Orton. Big Show then appeared at One Night Stand, attacking Taddy Ray, Super Crazy, and the full-blooded Italians after their tag team match. On the July 4 episode of ECW on Sci-Fi, Big Show beat Van Damme to win the ECW World Heavyweight Championship on an ECW show in Philadelphia with the assistance of ECW's general manager Paul He-Man, who declined to make the three count for Van Damme after Van Damme hit his finisher five-star frog splash on the Big Show. He-Man then instructed Big Show to choke her slam Van Damme onto a steel chair before making the three count. The fans almost rioted when Big Show became the ECW World Champion, throwing drinks and empty cups into the ring, as He-Man and Big Show celebrated. The victory made him the first ever professional wrestler to hold the WWE Championship, WCW World Heavyweight Championship, and ECW World Heavyweight Championship. He is also the first non-ECW original to hold the ECW title. Over the next several weeks, White defeated many other wrestlers from other brands, such as Ric Flair and Kane to retain his championship but lost to Batista and The Undertaker by disqualification. He lost to The Undertaker, however, at the Great American Bash in the first ever Punjabi prison match. He was a substitute for The Great Khali, who was removed by SmackDown. General Manager Theodore Long and replaced with Big Show as punishment for an attack on The Undertaker shortly before the match. He also had a brief feud with Sabu, whom he defeated at SummerSlam. At Cyber Sunday he faced John Cena and King Booker in a Champion of Champions match. The fans voted for King Booker's World Heavyweight Championship to be on the line. Booker won the match following interference from Kevin Federline, who was just beginning a feud with Cena at the time. At Survivor Series, Cena wrestled Big Show in a traditional 10-man Survivor Series tag team match, with Cena and Bobby Lashley leaving as the sole survivors of the match after Cena pinned Big Show to claim the victory due to a double team with Lashley. Big Show then began a feud with Lashley, who left SmackDown. To join the ECW brand to participate in the Extreme Elimination Chamber match of December to dismember for the ECW Championship. After busting Big Show open by breaking one of the plexiglass pods with his face, Lashley speared and pinned him to claim the ECW Championship. On December 6, 2006 following an unsuccessful rematch, WWE.com announced that Big Show was taking time off from the ring to heal injuries he had sustained on ECW. After December to dismember, Big Show told the WWE and he said I'm a raw-boned bastard that breaks things and moves the immovable objects. When I'm injured, I can't do those things, 
the Big Show told the official WWE website. I am much more valuable healthy both mentally and physically, and this hiatus will help me to get there. WWE announced that White's WWE contract had expired on February 8, 2007, his 35th birthday. PMG Clash of Legends 2007 After a two-month departure from WWE, White replaced Jerry the King Lawler when the WWE withdrew him from a match with former NO partner Hulk Hogan at the PMG Clash of Legends on April 27, 2007. White was introduced as Paul the Great White. He stated that Big Show was his slave name and that he didn't want to be owned anymore. Hogan won the match after he picked him up and body slammed White and pinned him following the leg drop. Return to WWE SmackDown 2008-2009 A noticeably slimmer White returned to WWE under his last used ring name, the Big Show, at No Way Out, on February 17, stating that he has lost 108 pounds, when he took time off from injuries. White then attempted to attack Rey Mysterio after his World Heavyweight Championship match with then-champion Edge but got into a physical confrontation with boxer Floyd Mayweather, JR after Mayweather came from the crowd to defend his friend Rey. The confrontation ended with Mayweather breaking White's nose with a punching combination. Big Show was then assigned to the SmackDown brand. Big Show lost to Mayweather at WrestleMania XXIV via knockout after a shot to the jaw with brass knuckles. On March 31, Big Show turned face by having a feud with the great Carly, concluding at Backlash, where Big Show defeated Carly pinning him after executing a choker slam. At one night stand, Show defeated CM Punk, John Morrison, Shavo Guerrero, and Tommy Dreamer in a Singapore cane match. During the bout, he received a black eye and deep gash along the eyebrow, which required stitches after John Morrison swung a Singapore cane to his knee, which caused Sho to fall with the steps. As he fell, the steps accidentally moved to the right, which hit Sho in the eye. The win gave him contention to face Kane and Mark Henry at Night of Champions for the ECW Championship, which Henry won by pinfall. Big Show sided with Vicky Guerrero in her ongoing feud with The Undertaker by attacking him at Unforgiven, and later interfering in many of Undertaker's matches on SmackDown, most notably against Triple H, Jeff Hardy, Shavo Guerrero, and The Great Carly. He went on to defeat Undertaker by knockout at No Mercy. However, Show lost to him in a fan-voted last man standing match at Cyber Sunday and a casket match at Survivor Series. Show then lost a steel cage match against The Undertaker on SmackDown, ending the feud. At No Way Out, Show wrestled in the Elimination Chamber for the WWE Championship, but lost after being the third person eliminated by Triple H. In March, it was revealed by John Cena that The Big Show was having secret relations with Vicky Guerrero. At WrestleMania XXV, Show was involved in a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship featuring Champion Edge and John Cena. Once again, he was unsuccessful as Cena won. Raw and Unified WWE Tag Team Champion 2009-2010 On April 13, Big Show was drafted to the Raw brand as a part of the 2009 WWE Draft. At Backlash, Big Show interfered in a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship between Cena and Edge when he threw Cena into a spotlight, thus resulting in Edge winning the title and Cena being seriously injured. He continued to feud with John Cena, losing to him at Judgment Day by pinfall and at Extreme Rules by submission by Cena's submission known as the STF, before defeating Cena on the June 22nd episode of Raw to end the feud. In the weeks prior to Night of Champions, Big Show constantly attacked U.S. champion Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne among others. He then feuded with Kingston over the U.S. title and earned himself a spot in the six-pack challenge at Night of Champions. At the event, Big Show was announced as Chris Jericho's new tag team partner due to Edge needing time off to tend to an injury, thus taking Show out of the six-pack challenge for the U.S. title. Together, 
Jerry Show were able to successfully defend the unified WWE Tag Team Championship against the Legacy. Jerry Show successfully defended the title against Crime Time at SummerSlam, MVP and Mark Henry at Breaking Point and Rey Mysterio and Batista at Hell in a Cell. At bragging rights, Big Show represented Team Raw, but he betrayed and attacked his teammates, which led to Team SmackDown winning, so that he could receive an opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. Big Show received his title shot at Survivor Series in a triple threat match against The Undertaker and Jericho, but The Undertaker successfully retained his title. The 140-day reign of Jerry Show as unified tag team champions came to an end at the TLC, tables, ladders and chairs pay-per-view at the hands of D-Generation X, DX. As a member of the SmackDown roster, Jericho could only appear on Raw as a champion and so DX intentionally disqualified themselves in a rematch to force Jericho off the show. Eventually the teams had a match with a definitive finish, though DX still won, signaling the end of Jerry show. On the February 8 episode of Raw, show regained the title from DX with his new tag team partner The Miz in a triple threat tag team elimination match, which also included the Straight Edge Society. CM Punk and Luke Gallows. On February 16, he and Miz successfully defended the title against Yoshitatsu and Goldust on the final episode of ECW. On the March 1 episode of Raw, Sho and Miz defeated DX in their rematch. At WrestleMania XXVI, Sho and Miz defeated John Morrison and R-Truth to retain the title again. At Extreme Rules Shimmers was in a tag team gauntlet match where the team that beat them would get a title match the next night on Raw. Shimmers beat the first two teams in the gauntlet match, John Morrison and R-Truth, then MVP and Mark Henry. They then lost to the Hart Dynasty, who earned the title shot. On the April 26, 2010 episode of Raw, Sho and Miz lost the unified tag team titles to the Hart Dynasty. Various feuds and reunion with Kane 2010-11 After the title loss, he hit the Miz with a knockout punch and hugged Teddy Long, thus show turned face for the first time since 2008. Later on in the night as part of the 2010 WWE draft, Big Show was drafted back to the SmackDown brand. He returned to the brand on the April 30th episode of SmackDown and was subsequently named the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Later on in the night he interrupted World Heavyweight Champion Jack Swagger as he was giving his State of Championship address, and knocked him out with his signature punch. On the May 7th episode of SmackDown, Big Show sat ringside during the Swagger Kane main event. After Swagger was disqualified, Show Choker slammed him through the announce table. He also crashed Swagger's achievement celebration and cost him his match with Kofi Kingston in the next weeks. Big Show defeated Jack Swagger via disqualification at Over the Limit. On the May 27 episode of SmackDown, General Manager Thetel Long announced that qualifying matches were going to take place that night for the World Heavyweight Championship match at WWE Fatal 4-Way. Long then announced due to Jack Swagger losing his match with Big Show via disqualification at Over the Limit, Big Show qualified automatically, but was unsuccessful in this attempt. At WWE Fatal 4-Way he faced Rey Mysterio, CM Punk and Swagger for the World Heavyweight title, but Mysterio won the title. The following night, Swagger debuted his new finishing move the ankle lock applied the submission move on Big Show, thus injuring his ankle and continuing their feud. Two weeks later on SmackDown, Big Show saved Rey Mysterio, whose ankle was injured by the same move, from Swagger. Later that night, Big Show fought Swagger to a double countout. Soon he began a feud with CM Punk and his Straight Edge Society, confronting him the Friday night before the Money in the Bank event, and unmasking him to reveal his bald head. After failing to win the ladder match for the Money in the Bank contract, he fought the mysterious masked member of the SES, also unmasking him as Joey Mercury. Show's feud with the Straight Edge Society continued after he defeated them in a three-on-one handicap match at SummerSlam and CM Punk at Night of Champions. Big Show was announced as Team SmackDown's captain for bragging rights on the October 8 episode of SmackDown. At the event, 
Big Show was counted out with Sheamus during the match but his team ultimately won with Edge and Rey Mysterio left on the team. He was on Rey Mysterio's team for Survivor Series where he was a survivor along with Mysterio. The following episode of SmackDown, he was unsuccessful in qualifying for King of the Ring as he was defeated by Alberto Del Rio by countout thanks to interference by his personal ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez. At the SmackDown tapings on January 4, Big Show participated in a fatal four-way match to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. He lost due to interference by former Nexus leader Wade Barrett. The next week, Show faced Barrett, and won via DQ, when former Nexus members Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel attacked him. Moments later Ezekiel Jackson appeared to help him, but instead attacked Big Show. The next week, Barrett, Slater, Gabriel and Jackson informed that they had formed the Corps. In the following weeks, the Corps continued to assault Show, due to the size and power of Ezekiel Jackson. At Elimination Chamber, Show participated in the Elimination Chamber match, eliminating Wade Barrett before eliminated by Kane. Big Show feuded with the Corps in the following weeks. On the March 4 episode of SmackDown, Big Show faced Kane in a confrontation until the Corps interfered on Kane's behalf. However, a miscommunication led to Kane turning on the Corps. Big Show and Kane thus reunited to take on the Corps. At WrestleMania XXVII, Big Show and Kane teamed with Santino Morella and Kofi Kingston to beat the Corps. On the April 22 episode of SmackDown, the duo defeated core members Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater to win the WWE Tag Team Championship, their second championship win as a team. Big Show was drafted to Raw as a part of the 2011 WWE Draft. He and Kane then started feuding with the new Nexus. After defending the titles against Wade Barrett and Ezekiel Jackson at Extreme Rules and CM Punk and Maze and Ryan at Over the Limit, Kane and Big Show lost their titles to Michael McGillicutty and David Otunga on the following day on Raw. After losing the titles, Show was run over by Alberto Del Rio's car, driven by his ring announcer Ricardo Rodriguez, and was sidelined with an injury for almost a month. He returned during a match between Kane and Del Rio, attacking both Del Rio and Rodriguez. Show then began feuding with Mark Henry after he attacked and injured him on the June 17 episode of SmackDown, as Big Show's frustrations and anger towards Del Rio was redirected unintentionally to Mark Henry. Henry retaliated by attacking Big Show during his match at Capital Punishment and hitting him with the world's strongest slam through the announce table, thus costing Show his match against Del Rio. Henry did same thing on Kane through the announce table the next day on Raw after their arm wrestling match, and again on the June 27 episode. Henry then broke the cage door during the steel cage between Big Show and Alberto Del Rio, allowing Del Rio to escape. He then attacked Show with a cage door, breaking the cage viciously. On July 17, 2011 at Money in the Bank, Henry defeated Big Show. After the match, Henry fractured Show's fibula keeping him out of action for almost three months. Intercontinental Champion and World Heavyweight Champion 2011-2013 On the October 7 episode of SmackDown, Show returned to the SmackDown brand to become number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship after he attacked Mark Henry and Chokey slammed him through the announcer table. At Vengeance Big Show fought Henry to a no contest after the ring collapsed following a superplex from Henry, similar to his match with Brock Lesnar in 2003. This time less damage was done, and the damage mainly occurred around the lower right hand ring post. Show ended up being taken out on a motorized cart with a flatbed. Show faced Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship once again at Survivor Series winning via disqualification when Henry hit Show with a low blow. Afterwards he leg dropped a steel chair on Henry's leg, much like what Henry did to show months before. On December 18 at TLC, Tables, Ladders and Chairs, Big Show finally defeated Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship in a chairs match. Afterwards, Henry knocked Big Show out with a DDT onto a steel chair and Daniel Bryan immediately cashed his money in the bank contract on Big Show to win the title. This gave Show the shortest ever World Heavyweight Championship reign, 
45 seconds. Sho challenged Brian for his world title on the January 6, 2012 episode of SmackDown, but Brian retained his title by disqualification when he goaded Mark Henry into attacking him. The following week on SmackDown, Sho received a rematch for the title contested under no disqualification, no countout rules. Brian again retained his title as the rematch ended in a no contest after Sho accidentally crashed into AJ, Brian's storyline girlfriend, at ringside, injuring her. At the 2012 Royal Rumble event, Sho faced Brian and Henry in a triple threat steel cage match for the world title, but Brian escaped the steel cage to retain his title. At the Elimination Chamber event, Sho failed again to capture the World Heavyweight Championship after he was eliminated second by Cody Rhodes. In the following weeks, Sho began a feud with Rhodes after Rhodes highlighted Sho's embarrassing moments in previous WrestleManias, often costing Sho to lose matches in the process. At WrestleMania XXVII, Big Sho defeated Rhodes to win the Intercontinental Championship. With this, Big Show became the 24th wrestler to win the Triple Crown Championship and the 14th Grand Slam Champion in the WWE. Show then began highlighting embarrassing moments in Rhodes' career. After a four-week reign, Show lost the title back to Rhodes at Extreme Rules in a tables match. Show received his rematch on the May 7 episode of Raw Super Show, where he defeated Rhodes via countout after he walked out on the match. After a series of confrontations with general manager John Laurinaitis, he was fired by Laurinaitis for making fun of his voice on the May 14 episode of Raw. Big Show returned on May 20 at Over the Limit, seemingly to help John Cena in his match against John Laurinaitis. Instead, he knocked Cena out with the WMD and allowed Laurinaitis to win the match by pinfall, thereby turning heel again in the process. The following night on Raw, Big Show explained that his actions were of necessity to keep his job in the WWE, therefore resulting in Lauren Oitas re-signing him to an ironclad contract with a big fat bonus, also stating that nobody showed him any sympathy when he got fired. Over the next few weeks, he attacked Cena, Brodus Clay, Alex Riley, R-Truth, Santino Morella, Zack Ryder, and Kofi Kingston because of the terms of his contract. On the June 21 episode of Raw, he accidentally knocked out Vince McMahon after McMahon announced Laurinaitis would be fired if Show lost to Cena at No Way Out in a Steel Cage. Show went on to lose that match and as per stipulation, Laurinaitis was fired. At Money in the Bank, Show faced Cena, Kane, Chris Jericho, and the Miz in WWE Championship Money in the Bank ladder match, but was unsuccessful as the match was won by Cena. On July 23 at Raw 1000, Big Show attacked Cena during his WWE Championship match against CM Punk causing a disqualification. He continued the attack on Cena until The Rock made the save. The following week on Raw, a WWE Championship No. 1 contenders match between Show and Cena ended in a no contest due to interference from Punk. Following this, both Show and Cena were entered in the championship match at SummerSlam by Raw General Manager AJ Lee at the event, however, Show would be unsuccessful in winning the championship as Punk would go on to retain the title. Show returned on the September 24 episode of Raw, attacking Brodus Clay and Tensai during their match. Four days later on SmackDown, Big Show defeated Randy Orton to become the number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship. Show received his title opportunity on October 28 at Hell in a Cell, where he defeated Sheamus to win the World Heavyweight Championship for the second time. On November 18, at Survivor Series, Show lost a title rematch to Sheamus via disqualification, retaining the World Heavyweight Championship as a result. Afterwards, Sheamus attacked Show and repeatedly hit him with a steel chair. This led to a chairs match on December 16 at TLC, Tables, Ladders and Chairs, where Big Show defeated Sheamus to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. On the December 24 episode of Raw, Show was defeated by Sheamus in a non-title lumberjack match. On the December 28 episode of SmackDown, Show defended his title against Alberto Del Rio, however, the match ended in a no contest after Sheamus interfered and attacked Show. Three days later on Raw, 
show defended the World Heavyweight Championship against Del Rio's ring announcer Ricardo Rodriguez and defeated him by a disqualification after Del Rio attacked show from behind. On January 8, 2013, at the tapings of the January 11 episode of SmackDown, show lost the World Heavyweight Championship to Del Rio in a last man standing match, ending his reign at 72 days. Sho received his rematch for the title in another last man standing match on January 27 at the Royal Rumble, but was again defeated by Del Rio when Rodriguez used duct tape to stop Sho from getting up. After Sho repeatedly attacked Del Rio and Rodriguez, Del Rio defeated Sho via submission on February 17 at Elimination Chamber, to again retain his title. Various feuds in WWE Championship Pursuit 2013 present on the March 1st episode of SmackDown, Big Show became a tweener by knocking out Roman Reigns of the Shield with the KO punch after Reigns was shoved into him during an attack on Randy Orton and Sheamus. After the March 4th episode of Raw went off air, Show was attacked by the Shield. Four days later on SmackDown, Show again assisted Sheamus and Orton in warding off the Shield, though he hit Sheamus with a KO punch and was hit with an RKO by Orton in return. On the March 11 episode of Raw, Show defeated Shield member Seth Rollins via disqualification after the rest of the Shield interfered. Orton and Jemus were then allowed to pick a third partner to face the Shield in a six man tag team match at WrestleMania 29 and originally chose Ryback. However, on the March 18 episode of Raw, Ryback was booked in another match at the event, leaving the spot open. Later that night, Big Show saved the two from an attack by The Shield and was immediately recruited as their partner. On April 7 at WrestleMania 29, Show, Orton and Jemus were defeated by The Shield, after which, Show reverted to a heel by knocking out both of his teammates. The following night on Raw, Orton and Jemus faced off in a match to earn a match with Big Show, however, the match ended in a no contest after Show interfered. Show was then defeated by Orton and Jemus in two handicap matches, first on the April 12 episode of SmackDown via Countout, and second on the April 15 episode of Raw via Pinfall. On the April 19 episode of SmackDown, Show teamed up with old rival Mark Henry to defeat Orton and Jemus in a tag team match, with Show pinning Orton for the win. The feud between Big Show and Orton led to an Extreme Rules match on May 19 at Extreme Rules, which Show lost. That same month, Big Show took time off from WWE to deal with a pre-existing torn labrum injury, effectively sidelining him for approximately two months. It was announced on the July 19 episode of SmackDown, that show would be returning on the July 22 episode of Raw, however, Show did not appear on show due to a lingering knee injury. Big Show returned to WWE as a face on August 11 at a house show in Oakland, California. Show made his televised return on the following night's Raw, helping Mark Henry and Rob Van Dam fend off an attack by The Shield. Four days later on SmackDown, Show, Henry, and Van Dam defeated The Shield in a six-man tag team match. On the following episode of Raw, as a result of speaking out against COO Triple H, Show was placed into a three-on-one handicap tornado tag team match against The Shield, which Show lost. Additional punishment followed with Sho being forced to sit ringside and watch his friends being attacked by the Shield at the risk of being fired. Following this, the authority, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, claimed Sho was broke, and in order to save his job, forced him to knock out his friends including Daniel Bryan, Dusty Rhodes, and The Miz. When Sho attempted to revolt on the September 30 episode of Raw, he was almost arrested for threatening to knock out Triple H but Stephanie McMahon would come to his aid and insult him afterwards. At WWE Battleground Big Show interfered in the WWE title match between Bryan and Orton and knocked out both of them sending a message to Triple H and The Shield as well. The following night on Monday Night Raw, he was slapped by Stephanie McMahon after Big Show said Stephanie and Hunter had told him to knock out Daniel Bryan and then fired him in kayfabe. He returned later in the night after the main event and attacked the Shield and then proceeded to knock out Triple H a week later on Raw, Big Show would interfere in a no disqualification match between Goldust and Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins for the WWE Tag Team titles, 
knocking out Reigns, Rollins, and Dean Ambrose, costing the Shield the titles and making up for his knocking out of Dusty Rhodes. On the October 18 edition of SmackDown, Show made an unannounced in-ring appearance using a ticket signed by Daniel Bryan. He was then confronted by Raw GM Brad Maddox and SmackDown GM Vicky Guerrero. After both attempted to remind Show of his terminated status, Big Show retaliated by stating that as a man who has lost everything, he has nothing left to lose, followed by knocking out Maddox before exiting the ring. On the October 21st edition of Raw the following Monday, he appeared via satellite and aired his grievances against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, even mentioning a lawsuit against the authority, before he was shut off mid-sentence by Stephanie herself. He later appeared in the broadcast driving a semi-truck during the contract signing between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. On the October 21st episode of Raw, Big Show announced he was, kayfabe, suing WWE for breach of contract and slandering. Show would then get barred from both Hell in a Cell and the following episode of Raw, although this would still not stop Show appearing on Raw. After being attacked by the Shield, he was saved by Cody Rhodes, Goldust and the Usos. He then interrupted Randy Orton's WWE Championship celebration and gave Orton a KO punch. Unfortunately, however, when Michael Cole conducted an interview with Triple H uploaded onto WWE's official website on October 30, 2013, Triple H announced that show is banned from WWE for life in kayfabe. On the November 4 Raw, the authority was forced by the board of directors to give Big Show whatever he wants in return for not suing the company. Big Show wanted his job back and a WWE Championship match at Survivor Series, which he received. He was then forced to compete in a handicap match against The Shield and Randy Orton. Big Show won the match by disqualification after Kane, who had recently pledged allegiance to the authority, distracted him. The Shield proceeded to triple powerbomb him through the announcer's table. The next week on Raw, after Orton lost to Cody Rhodes and Goldust by countout, Big Show would come out to attack Orton, choke his lamming him through the announce table. Show eventually got a shot at Orton's WWE Championship at Survivor Series, but was again unsuccessful. The following night on Raw Show and Cena teamed up against both of their Survivor Series opponents Orton and Del Rio however Show was once again unsuccessful and was sent home due to head trauma. At TLC, tables, ladders and chairs Mystery O teamed with Big Show to unsuccessfully challenge Cody Rhodes and Goldust for the WWE Tag Team Championship in a four-way match, also involving Ryback and Curtis Axel, and the Real Americans. On the December 30 edition of Raw, Brock Lesnar returned with his agent Paul Heyman to announce his intentions to challenge the winner of the match between Orton and Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Lesnar then called out any wrestler who wanted to stop him, which resulted in Mark Henry answering the challenge and the two brawling until Lesnar speared Henry through the ringside fan barricade and hitting him with an F5 on the arena floor. The following week on Old School Raw, Henry challenged him again only to have Lesnar dislocate his elbow with the Kimura lock. Following this, Big Show came out and confronted Lesnar, which led to a short physical confrontation between the two with Show throwing Lesnar across the ring. On January 10, Big Show issued a challenge to Lesnar to fight during a Miz TV interview on SmackDown. He-Man accepted the challenge on behalf of Lesnar, and said it would take place at the Royal Rumble. Show lost at the event, and also was brutally assaulted with numerous steel chairs. After a month of absence, Big Show would return to the WWE on the March 7, 2014 edition of SmackDown, to save Daniel Bryan from Batista and Kane and team with Bryan later in the night to defeat Kane and Batista in a tag team match. Big Show participated in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania XXX, being the last person eliminated by winner Cicero. On April 11th SmackDown Show suffered a loss to Cicero when Cicero hit the neutralizer. On Raw April 14th Show hit the KO punch on Damian Sando before their match after Damian insulted him. Other media Show has been featured in infomercials for Stacker 2 with NASCAR drivers Kenny Wallace, Scott Wimmer, and Elliot Sadler.
crew chief Jeff Hammond, and 2002, 2005, and 2011 Sprint Cup champion Tony Stewart. In addition, White made a cameo appearance on the Thong Song remix music by Cisco and Foxy Brown. White was featured on the game show Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Winning $15,000 for his chosen charity, United Service Organizations he is the only contestant to appear on two versions of the game show in two different countries. On March 31, 2012. Big Show won the first ever Slime Wrestling World Championship at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, defeating them as after throwing him into a tub of slime. Filmography Reggie's Prayer, 1996, as Mr. Portola, Jingle All the Way, 1996, as Huge Santa, McSince's Island, 1998, as Little Snowflake, The Waterboy, 1998, as Captain Insano. Little Hercules in 3D, 2006, as Magic, Magruba, 2010, as Brick Hughes, Knucklehead, 2010, as Walter Crunk. Television appearances Thunder in Paradise, 1994, Figure It Out, 1998, Cousin Skeeter, March 18, 1999, in episode Skeeter's Suplex, Shasta McNasty, October 5, 1999, in the pilot episode, as himself, wearing a pizza delivery guy's uniform, Cisco's Thong Song remix music video, 2000, The Cindy Margulis Show, September 8, 2000, The Weakest Link, November 12, 2001, WWF edition, first one voted off six votes, Saturday Night Live, March 18, 2000, TV Total, April 29, 2002, one on one, November 25, 2002, in episode Is It Safe? As Miles, Play a Dollar, 2004, in episode Bare Naked Players, MAD TV, March 13, 2004, Star Trek, Enterprise, October 29, 2004, in episode Borderland as Orion Slave Trader No. 1, Hogan Knows Best, 2004 to 2005, 2007, Late Night with Kevin, September 27, 2005, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, 2008, 2009, Attack of the Show, October 2, 2008, VH1 Top 20 Countdown, 2009, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Australian Version, August 10, 17, 2009, Fifth Grader, US Syndicated Version, 2009, The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, August 26, 2009, Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, April 11, 2010, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, June 16, 2010, Royal Pain Season 2, Episode 3 Keeping the Faith, June 17, 2010, Super Ninjas 2 Ton Harley, and Enter the Dojo, April 23, 2011, April 6, 2013, 2011 Kids' Choice Awards as himself Stunt Driver, Burn Notice, 2011, as Griffin Black, the 2011 American Country Awards, December 5, 2011, 2012 Kids' Choice Awards as himself wrestler against The Miz, March 31, 2012, Psych as Bigfoot impersonator Ed Dixon, 2013. Video games White appears as a playable wrestler in WCW vs. NO, World Tour and WCW NO Revenge. He has appeared in every WWE video game since WWF WrestleMania 2000 except for WWF SmackDown. 2. Know Your Role, WWF No Mercy where his storyline character was replaced with Stephen Richards during the Right to Censor storyline, although his likeness can be used in both the former and the latter via cheat device, and SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 when he left WWE in 2007. He also appears in the game WWE Crush Hour as a starter. Most recently, White has appeared in WWE All-Stars and WWE 12 and appears in WWE 13 as The Big Show and Paul White. He is also a playable character in WWE 2K14 with his modern and retro attire from WrestleMania 2000. Personal Life Like Andre the Giant, White used to have acromegaly a disease of the endocrine system. By the age of 12, 
White was 6 feet 3.8 in, 1.93 m, tall, weighed 220 pounds, 100 kilograms, and had chest hair. In 1991, as a member of the Wichita State University basketball team at age 19, White was listed at 7 feet 31 halves in, 2.53 m. He underwent successful surgery in the early 1990s on his pituitary gland, which halted the progress of this condition. His shoe size is 18, his ring size is 22, and his chest is 64 inches, 160 centimeters, in circumference. In 2005, White leased a bus and hired a bus driver because of the practical problems his size presents to air travel and car rental. White played basketball and football in high school at Wyman King Academy in Batesburg, Leesville, South Carolina. He was a standout center for the basketball team and a tight end for the football team. He quit football after his freshman year, because of disputes with the coach. He continued to support the team by joining the cheerleading squad as a sophomore, partly from spite. He later called it the greatest experience of my life. Everybody else was riding a bus with sweaty equipment and I'm in a van with seven cheerleaders who are all learning about life. The van, a Ford Econoline, was driven by a mum who was deaf in her right ear and chain smoked. While at Wichita State University, White played basketball. Prior to attending Wichita State University, White attended Northern Oklahoma Junior College in Tonkawa, Oklahoma, competing on the basketball team. At Northern Oklahoma, his averages of 14 points and 6.5 rebounds earned him all-conference honors and helped the team in the Western Division of the Oklahoma B State Conference. White also attended Southern Illinois University Edwardsville from 1992 to 1993, was a member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA, Division II Cougars basketball team and is a member of the Xi Beta chapter of Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. During his one year at SIUE, White scored a total of 39 points for the Cougars in limited action. White married his first wife, Melissa Ann Piavis, on February 14, 1997. They separated in 2000 and their divorce was finalized on February 6, 2002. Together, they have a daughter named Sierra. On February 11, 2002, he married his second wife, Beska Tremados. Together they have two children. In December 1998, White was arrested and detained for allegedly exposing himself to a hotel clerk in Memphis, Tennessee. White denied the incident, and was later released due to a lack of evidence. In March 1999, White was charged with assault by Robert Sawyer, who alleged that White had broken his jaw during the summer of 1998 in the course of an altercation at Marriott Hotels and Resorts in Uniondale, New York. White claimed that Sawyer had verbally abused, threatened, and shoved him, and that he had responded by punching Sawyer. After three days, Judge Thomas Feynman delivered a verdict of not guilty. White's mother, Dorothy, was a police officer. In wrestling. Finishing moves. Choker slam, knockout, KO, punch slash WMD, weapon of mass destruction, right handed knockout hook, 2008 present, colossal clutch, camel clutch, used rarely, choker slam, knockout, KO, punch slash WMD, weapon of mass destruction, right handed knockout hook, 2008 present, colossal clutch, camel clutch, Used rarely. Signature moves. Abdominal stretch, alley oop, reverse powerbomb, back kick, as a counter to an oncoming opponent, baywag, big boot, cobra clutch backbreaker, sometimes followed by a spin out cobra clutch slam, corner hip attack, corner slingshot splash, diving elbow drop, fall away powerbomb, final cut, spinning headlock elbow drop, headbutt, military press slam. Open handed chop to a cornered opponent's chest, with theatrics, running Sinton, showstopper, inverted leg drop bulldog, sidewalk slam, spear, abdominal stretch, alley oop, reverse power bomb, back kick, as a counter to an oncoming opponent, baywag, big boot, 
Cobra Clutch Backbreaker, sometimes followed by a spin-out Cobra Clutch Slam, Corner Hip Attack, Corner Slingshot Splash, Diving Elbow Drop, Fall Away Power Bomb, Final Cut, Spinning Headlock Elbow Drop, Headbutt, Military Press Slam, Open-Handed Chop to a Cornered Opponent's Chest, with Theatrics, Running Sinton, Showstopper, Inverted Leg Drop Bulldog, Sidewalk Slam, Spear, Managers. Jimmy Hart, Shane McMahon, Paul Bearer, Paul He-Man, Joy Giovanni, Jimmy Hart, Shane McMahon, Paul Bearer, Paul He-Man, Joy Giovanni, Nicknames. Big Nasty Bastard, The 500-Pound Giant, The World's Largest Athlete, The Giant, Show, Big Nasty Bastard, The 500-Pound Giant, The World's Largest Athlete, The Giant, Show, Entrance Themes. Big by Jim Johnston, April 1999, May 29, 2006, Big, Remix, by Mac-10, K-Mac, Boo Capone, and MC-8, May 2000, Big and Slow Chemical by Finger-11, used while teaming with Kane in 2006, Crank It Up and Man on Fire by Jim Johnston, used while teaming with Kane in 2011, Crank It Up by Brand New Sin, June 7, 2006 Present, Crank the Walls Down by Marlene and the Sons of Disaster, July 31, 2009, January 4, 2010. Used while teaming with Chris Jericho, I Came to Crank It Up by Downsat and Brand New Sin, used while teaming with The Miz, Big by Jim Johnston, April 1999, May 29, 2006, Big, Remix, by Mac-10, K-Mac, Boo Capone, and MC-8, May 2000. Big and Slow Chemical by Finger Eleven, used while teaming with Kane in 2006. Crank It Up and Man on Fire by Jim Johnston, used while teaming with Kane in 2011. Crank It Up by Brand New Sin, June 7, 2006 Present. Crank the Walls Down by Marlene and the Sons of Disaster, July 31, 2009, January 4, 2010. Used while teaming with Chris Jericho. I Came to Crank It Up by Downsat and Brand New Sin, used while teaming with The Miz. Championships and Accomplishments Pro Wrestling Illustrated PWI Rookie of the Year, 1996, PWI Wrestler of the Year, 1996, PWI ranked him number two of the top 500 singles wrestlers of the year in the PWI 500 in 1996, PWI Rookie of the Year, 1996. PWI Wrestler of the Year, 1996, PWI ranked him number two of the top 500 singles wrestlers of the year in the PWI 500 in 1996, World Championship Wrestling. WCW World Heavyweight Championship, two times, WCW World Tag Team Championship, three times, with Lex Luger, one, Sting, one, and Scott Hall, one, King of Cable, 1996, World War III, 1996, WCW World Heavyweight Championship, two times, WCW World Tag Team Championship, three times, with Lex Luger, one, Sting, one, and Scott Hall, one, King of Cable, 1996, World War III, 1996, World Wrestling Federation slash World Wrestling Entertainment WWE, ECW World Championship, one time, World Heavyweight Championship, two times, World Tag Team Championship, five times, with The Undertaker, two, Kane, one, Chris Jericho, one, and The Miz, one, WWE Intercontinental Championship, one time, WWE Tag Team Championship, three times, with Chris Jericho, one, The Miz, one, and Kane, one, WWE United States Championship, one time, WWF E Championship, two times, WWF Hardcore Championship, three times, 24th Triple Crown Champion, 12th Grand Slam Champion, Slammy Award for Tag Team of the Year, 2009, with Chris Jericho, Slammy Award for Holy Dollar. Plus Move of the Year, 2011, with Mark Henry, Slammy Award for Betrayal of the Year, 2012, knocking out John Cena at Over the Limit. Slammy Award for This Is Awesome Moment of the Year, 2013, for knocking out Triple H on Raw, 2010 Bragging Rights Trophy, 
as a member of Team SmackDown with Rey Mysterio, Jack Swagger, Alberto Del Rio, Edge, Tyler Rex and Kofi Kingston, ECW World Championship, one time, World Heavyweight Championship, two times, World Tag Team Championship, five times, with The Undertaker, two, Kane, one, Chris Jericho, one, and The Miz, one, WWE Intercontinental Championship, one time, WWE Tag Team Championship, three times, with Chris Jericho, one, The Miz, one, and Kane, one, WWE United States Championship, one time, WWFE Championship, two times, WWF Hardcore Championship, three times, 24th Triple Crown Champion, 12th Grand Slam Champion, Slammy Award for Tag Team of the Year, 2009, with Chris Jericho, Slammy Award for Holy Dollar, Plus Move of the Year, 2011, with Mark Henry, Slammy Award for Betrayal of the Year, 2012, Knocking Out John Cena at Over the Limit, Slammy Award for This Is Awesome Moment of the Year, 2013, for Knocking Out Triple H on Raw, 2010 Bragging Rights Trophy, as a member of Team SmackDown with Rey Mysterio, Jack Swagger, Alberto Del Rio, Edge, Tyler Rex and Kofi Kingston, Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards. Rookie of the Year, 1996, Worst Feud of the Year, 1999, versus The Big Boss Man, Worst Feud of the Year, 2013, versus The Authority, Worst Wrestler, 2001, 2002, Most Embarrassing Wrestler, 2002, Rookie of the Year, 1996, Worst Feud of the Year, 1999, versus The Big Boss Man, Worst Feud of the Year, 2013, versus The Authority, Worst Wrestler, 2001, 2002, Most Embarrassing Wrestler, 2000